fine. I got home fine. But as I've told you before, I'm a Montanan, so I like driving in the snow. I'm not scared of it. I was actually excited to see it. What about you? Oh, uh, I'm okay with it. And you know, Jim, Jim, you said you're pretty bad with that. Well, but hold on, Jim. Um, Jenny, I could see that we're just getting word that uh, there's some smoke showing in Ballard, and our partners at Como TV have uh, now sent up uh, Air Four. You know, we have all access to all local and national feeds here, and we're going to try and pull this up in our netcast center here. Uh, Air Four is a, there we go. Air Four looks go. like it's approaching a, a fire here. Well, it's a house, a house fire. Looks yeah, like it. it looks like a fire. We're seeing a lot, a mm. lot of uh, smoke coming from that house right now. And uh, I'm uh, sending you all a link to this live feed of Air Four so that you can watch this live with us. Um, make sure you're following us on Twitter. We are at Como Live. Uh, that is our Twitter handle. And you can also find the latest on this. So this is in Ballard. So on our Ballard community site. And that is Ballard.comonews.com. Yeah, so at any time uh, Air Force takes off, we're going to send you a text. We're going to send you a tweet. Right. Facebook uh, notification, you know, old-fashioned email. Yeah, we you know, will find you. We will find you to let you know that something's happening with Air 4. It's one of our best features, and you can see the feed from Air 4 Live as it's happening as we're seeing it here. And that uh, this fire is looks like it's spreading. And I am watching our Twitter page to see if anyone has any information more about maybe mm -hmm. who lives in the house or you know what might have happened. Uh, not a ton of updates yet so make sure that you're following us at como live to and give us uh, those. what i'm going to do is i'm uh, adding this right now to the uh, the air force feed to our hot zone and that's that area you see on the left hand side of your screen it's a live link and if you click on that live link it'll pop up a window with just the air force live stream and you can watch that uh, as well as watch our own netcast at the same time you won't ever leave our netcast for this coverage the fire department is getting water on the fire so uh it is starting to slow down no big flames so really glad that we're seeing that so jenny joining us now is uh como news.com ballard communities reporter travis mayfield and travis uh what do you have on your end yeah, Matt, uh, people really responding to our breaking news alert. In fact, Matt Schaub lives just across the street. He took this picture on Twitter. We've retweeted it. You can see the flames. Uh, the big thing here, though, is if you are going to send us a picture, please don't get too close because this is still a very dangerous situation. Yeah, Travis, so I've just posted that picture you just sent us on our video wall, and also we're uh, geolocating that fire. I've also embedded a map on our Ballard Communities page, and of course we're continuing to develop what we can and post it live here in the newsroom. Joining us now is uh, Joe. He's on our Como Skype video network, and Joe, what are you seeing out there? Uh, well, it's just happening right down the street from me, right outside here, and I, uh, I know the people that live there. I'm pretty sure they're okay. They went down the street to somebody else's house. Um, there are lots of smoke, lots of fire trucks. Uh, I, I, I signed up for the Ballard Alerts, and I was on the computer when I got the tweet. Um, ran outside, and, and I got out there before the fire trucks arrived. I'm pretty sure everyone's okay. So, Matt, it looks like we have some other re people responding on our Como Live Facebook page, and they're saying right here that the family is accounted for. Chris Evans says he's friends with the family who owns that house and that they are okay. So that is some really good news right there. Um, it does sound like from the postings, though, that there was an explosion of sorts. We didn't see that on the monitor, but we will try to confirm that with the fire department when we can. And uh, remember, you can join us and see what people are saying on our Facebook page. It's going to be on the lower part of the screen. You can also look at it on Facebook. Uh, join the conversation with us, Twitter and Facebook. We're talking about this fire. You can find everything that we've been talking about today on those pages and join the conversation mm -hmm. right here with us. And Jenny, as always, we are building a, a new video clip that's available on demand of our coverage, which is watchable at any time. Uh, there'll be a link on the Cobo News Ballard Communities page to this replay of this coverage. And plus, there's a link of all the unedited aerials you've been watching right now. You can watch it at any time as well as we'll be geolocating this location pinpointing it on our page so you'll have everything you need to know on our uh, Valor page as well as comonews.com. Yep. So we're talking about the 520 bridge tolls and its effect on our area and uh, joining us right now on our Como News Skype video line is our two our, our two community reporters Michael Hawthorne and uh, Heather Reese. Yeah, Heather Reese is our community reporter in the U District, and Michael's in Kirkland. Of course, those are two communities on either side of the bridge who are really affected by this. Hi, guys. I'm hearing from a lot of people that they're going to be avoiding the bridge. I know a lot of people in Kirkland are preparing for backups on Juanita Drive and around the lake from, from Kirkland down to Juanita and elsewhere. Well, traffic really can't get a lot worse here in the U District. In fact, we're hearing that traffic might get better around the stadiums because people will everyone will be going to I-5. 
So people are sending us uh, tweets right now that they're going to avoid the bridge and the toll. And uh, Anna is Skyping into our conversation. And Anna, you say that you are going to pay the toll? Four bucks to go through the bridge? I'll pay it. I'm saving an hour. Time is money. Well, you are not alone, Anna. I am looking at some of our responses on all of our uh, social media sites. And so right here, Jennifer22 is tweeting that she would pay $7 to save an hour of drive time. So I guess she's willing to do it. But um, on Facebook, Megan Anderson, she says she's a UW student who will dump her car and take the bus over the bridge to do shopping in Bellevue. She mm -hmm. says it's going to be cheaper that way. And everybody can read our tweets and Facebooks. They're right down mm -hmm. the bottom of the screen. Oh. You know, And in case you're wondering uh, what the new bridge will look like, I've just created a link on our hot zone with this uh, video made by the State Department of Transportation. And if you click on this link, you'll actually see an animation of what this new bridge is going to look like. And again, it will open up a pop-up window. You'll never leave our conversation. You can just watch this animation at any time you want. Mm -hmm. It's totally on your demand. Right. Uh, and again, it's a little pre-roll, but you can deal with that. <laughs> That's how we get paid, right? That's how yeah. we get you some know? money, yeah. And anyway, uh, it's on demand, and you'll never lose this conversation. We'll continue it right now. Yeah, it's a really cool video, too. Uh, so if you check out our Insta poll, it looks like the video of the dog flying is beating that YouTube video of the guy doing that crazy behind-the-back full-court basketball shot. You know, that's an amazing shot. That really yeah. is an amazing shot. Isn't it, guy? I think you're right, Matt, but I think if you check out this video I just found, I think it'll beat the basketball shot. Take a look. Well, I see that link, and uh, since this is coming from you, Eric, uh, one of our regular contributors, uh, you know, Eric knows our standards, which may be a little bit low, but um, I'm sure it's going to be that dog video. Yeah, I'm we're going to we're going to post that link in our hot zone right now, and uh, let's roll it, Eric. What do you think? I think maybe his editing skills are better than his actual drumming skills. What makes you happy, Tom? In Auburn, you're up on Newsline PM. You know what makes me happy, Shram? You handing out those Shrammies <laughs> to all those real losers who deserve it. <laughs> okay, all right, here. Maybe we should ask what makes you unhappy, as opposed to asking what makes you happy. You know what makes me unhappy, Shram? You handed out one to my brother, and he didn't deserve it. All right, well, that's a look at what uh, Ken Schramm is talking about right now on Como News Radio. And, you know, it's really great. You can listen to Ken on the radio, but you can also uh, watch him live. We have cameras in his studio, and that way uh, you can watch him hand out his Schrammies, if you wish, which and, is always interesting. Yeah, and Ken's taking video Skype calls now, so you can call him on the uh, old-fashioned way on the phone, and, or you can call him on Skype, and we'll take the call that way. And, you know, who else is on the air right now is uh, Kent Nallen from KPLZ. They're doing their morning show, and... Hey, let's tune 45. in and see what they're talking about. Ron Snapsley for John Wade, Blaze of Tampa. And why are we snapping our fingers? This guy is clearly the unluckiest man in the world. All right, so uh, joining us now from Gal Time is Brandy Williams. Hi, Brandy. And come on, Sandra Bullock is Woman of the Year. I just, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, hey, guys. Okay, so do I agree with People Magazine making Sandra Bullock Woman of the Year? Absolutely. Go through a public breakup like that must be so difficult. And she handled it with such grace. So you think she should really get an award for choosing some loser, cheater, biker dude getting divorced, and now People Magazine is rewarding her for her choices? Not at all. I mean, she had no idea what she was getting into, and that's something that she said publicly. She was shocked by the allegations and shocked to find some of the things that Jesse was hiding from her. And the first chance that she had to speak out about it, she made a joke, which speaks volumes about her character. That's what I think, though. You should find out what your viewers think. Put up an instant poll. Well, okay, and uh, so that's just what I've done. So down there on the lower left-hand part of your screen, you see our poll question. So does Sandra Bullock really deserve People Magazine's choice for Woman of the Year? You, of course, have heard our opinions on that. Um, and as our show progresses, you can see the results updated live as people click on that poll. And, you know, Matt, I'm really interested to see how people feel about this. Yeah, and the best part about this is that people can see this live polling you'll see the numbers are changing right now they're right. changing and, exactly uh, uh, and if you don't agree you can get on there and get your <laughs> friends involved and get everyone to vote to, uh, to change the poll so one of my favorite parts of the day the daily buzz always has something interesting to show and tell so uh what's going on today guys you talk about head drama. This I, is head drama. Is, oh, my gosh. Now, you listen, you're my TV boo, and yes. we never fight, do we? We fight all the time oh, okay. because it keeps it interesting, oh. right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Am I right? right? You know it does, but, of course, there is no makeup anything afterwards. No, no, none of that. Oh, so you, know you, you leave when you're on top. That's... 
That's what he should you do. You know, but Jenny, I'm just getting a message here from uh, Como TV news reporter uh, Elizabeth Din, who is uh, now she's uh, joining us via FaceTime on her iPhone. And uh, Elizabeth, what do you have going on? Hey guys, yeah, I'm over in West Seattle and uh, I want you to take a look at this. Uh, this is pretty much a whole bunch of mud just sitting on Southwest uh, 47th Avenue right here in West Seattle. And on that property, there's a sprinkler system, some trees knocked it down, causing all this water to get out on the street and basically cause quite a bit of a mess right here. All right, well, thanks, Elizabeth. And, you know, that's the beauty of what we're doing here. This is all live. We don't have to uh, break into your TV shows or your soap operas to bring you breaking news. We're just telling you as it happens, as mm -hmm. we're finding out. Yeah, no, basically, we can create live channels as they happen here. I mean, look at our, our hot zone right now. we got Kent Tram's radio show, and you can also watch Kent and Allen. And we're also giving you a feed of the Anderson murder trial that's taking place in downtown Seattle. As well as the end or the weekly press conference from Pete Carroll, I'm right. sure he's talking about that loss. Yeah, or trying he's to avoid some, talking uh, about that loss. Explaining but again, yeah. to do, I think. But again, you can t uh, tap into any of these live feeds and never leave our show, or you can pot our show down and listen to that. And the idea is that there is no limit to the amount of channels we can develop right. in this show. You don't, like you said, you don't have to interrupt any TV program. Right. We develop the channels as they happen. And it's all interactive. Right. And you're, you're choosing how you want to be getting your news, and you get it as we know it. Mm -hmm.